Well, good morning, everyone. This is Alex again with a quick follow-up on my Japanese bird kite construction. So, we have finished construction of the seagull bird kite. It turned out quite well. I've made a couple of slight modifications. I put a little notch here so I can hang it for display. I'm not sure about covering this back part after the wings are installed. The, the plans and the pictures in the book are not clear, so I'm going to do a test flight just like this and see how it goes. Plus you can see all the, the structure. I think that's kind of kind of neat. So I also put some color to the seagull. I used watercolor and an airbrush. Gave him some nice character features here. Got his feet attached. These are actually movable. Probably use those as some kind of a trim or, or a flap coming in for a landing, you know. Um, I think it turned out quite well. So just to give you an idea of how labor-intensive and detailed this project was, it took me, I tied myself, it took me six hours just to cover just to put the paper on one wing. So take your time, do it right. You can't just slap this thing on there and hope for the best. You actually have to wrap the fabric around and make the contours form. The, the leading edge is very critical. I also, one of the things I did, you can kind of see the gull wing shape of the wing. This main spar, I made a jig over here so when I cleaned the, uh, uh, the bark off the, the twigs, I put it into this little device and clamped them up so it would maintain that contour. So I also put some little rings on the wingtips to hook up some uh, fishing line links so it's going to be easy for display or for flying. So it survived the drop test, which is basically you let it float and it balances quite nicely. The, uh, the breeze floats up the fabric in the wings. I ended up putting just a slight bit of weight in this wingtip right over here to help it balance out laterally. So anyway, I'm very pleased how this turned out. What's next is a test flight, and what's next after that? Well, we have the eagle kite. I thought I'd get my feet wet with a seagull. That seemed a little simpler, but uh, yeah, this is what's next. I also am working on a very uh, detailed and high-speed stunt kite, and I'm not going to show you that right now. I'll show you that later once I get further into the product. So, and also I'll show you my nifty Seahawk pool table lamp. I made that a few years ago. Yeah, so my pool table here is now a workbench. So, hopefully I'll get some, uh, some video and some pictures of the first test flight. Uh, the weather's pretty nasty outside. Oh, oh yeah, do not, do not get this paper wet. I did a couple experiments when I was playing with it initially to see how it, how it felt and, and how to work it. If you get it wet, it just disintegrates. So do not, if you're going to make one of these, do not fly it in the rain. Clear day, no clouds, no water. So anyway, hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm thinking, uh, oh, one more thing. I have named this kite uh, in honor of the uh, 70s uh, book by Richard Bach. This is Jonathan Livingston Seagull. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.